what's going to happen to your online accounts after you pass away. I know it's a morbid topic, but it's important for everyone to think about. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of videos and articles about digital organization. And today I'm going to show you Google Inactive Account Manager and sort of talk you through how it works to see if it's something you'll want to use. This is a setting in Google that lets you pass on pieces of your Google account to different people or to just one person if you haven't logged in for a set amount of time. Now you do need to include a mobile phone number so that Google can verify you are who you say you are for this to work. The way it works is if you don't log into your Google account for three months, and three months is the minimum here, then one month before that three months is up, you'll get a warning. And if you don't log into your account after that warning, then Google's going to pass on access to your accounts to the people that you've set up. So here, this is a test account. I'm just going to set up myself as the trusted person. And you can include more than one person, too, and give them access to different things. How much you'll have to select here will depend on how many Google services you have set up. Now, you do need to include one more phone number for your trusted contact so that they can verify that they are who they say they are, too. The big problem that I see with Google Inactive Account Manager is that that three-month limit isn't necessarily going to help you if you pass away unexpectedly or you become incapacitated and you want someone to have access to your accounts really quickly. Now the last step is to just customize the message that the person will receive when they get the keys to your Google account. Google also appends a final note on that just to be extra clear about what's happening. One feature that I do like is you can optionally have your account totally deleted, or at least deleted in the sense that Google deletes things, after the person has gotten access to your account and had an opportunity to download the data that you gave them. If you do use a lot of Google services, I think this is a really neat feature to kind of explore and see whether it's going to be worth your while. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy, helping you stay organized. You can email me questions anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.